when you're looking up at the sky and you see those dark, ominous clouds, sometimes it can be confusing as to what it is you're actually looking at. Now, uh, this fantastic shot I managed to get the other day of this shelf cloud, it's pretty obvious that there's something quite organized going on there. But there's many other features of a supercell thunderstorm or a cumulonimbus. Probably the most spectacular is a tornado. It's a rapidly rotating cloud that comes down from underneath the main updraft of the storm. Another amazing feature uh, is called a wall cloud. Now this is a type of rotating cloud underneath the updraft again, where a tornado will come from. This is what a storm chaser is really watching for, is a, a rotating feature or lowering underneath the main updraft of the storm. The main updraft is where the, the hot air is rising and punching up through the atmosphere. Uh, you can see that particularly in Sydney, uh, you'll be seeing these exploding off the Blue Mountains, these big, crisp, towering clouds. Now when they hit the upper atmosphere, they often will get knocked over by the upper winds. Uh, this is called an anvil cloud. Now underneath an anvil cloud, you can get what's called mamatus. And this can be spectacular. These amazing bulbous lowerings underneath the anvil cloud. And if you can get light, sunlight underneath there, particularly afternoon orange light, uh, it is just one of the most amazing things to actually watch. Now, one of the most damaging features of a severe thunderstorm in Australia is what's called a microburst. Now, these are a very uh, strong and powerful downdraft from the storm. Now, the air that's coming with that, when it hits the ground, it's got nowhere to go but outwards. Microbursts are responsible for knocking aircraft out of the sky. One of the most recognisable features of a storm, particularly if you're on the eastern side um, in, in Australia, is what's called a shelf cloud. Your updraft will be taking all the moisture up and when it comes down, often with a microburst, it'll be pushing out and in front of that you'll get a shelf cloud, a gust front. And along that you get where the cold air is meeting up with moist air and you get this beautiful, amazing, intimidating uh, things called shelf clouds. They are just uh, astounding to watch. Usually uh, the winds can be strong in them, they're not too bad. Usually uh, their uh, bark is a lot worse than their bite. So next time you're wondering what it is that you're looking at, go to the Bureau Radar and have a look and see where you are in relation to that storm. And then you can have a look at some of these features I've talked about and work out what it is you're looking at. If you're seeing a tornado, get out of the way.